Hey guys, welcome to the new show, The Review Show. Today we're going to check out Quora. If a psychopath had to perform surgery on him slash himself without anesthetic, what would be going through their mind? My guess is something like, I have to do this. Let's get into it, guys. Don't read this if you get squeamish. Don't keep watching the video if you're getting it squeamish, guys. This is a serious topic about psychopathy, alright? I truly mean that. This is your tap warning. It's going to hit some phobias with some people involving needles and teeth. Reading further means that you have verbally agreed that you are going to be okay with the content in this video. Now, so don't ever whinge or comment or freaking bother. All right. All right, I've sort of done this more than once, so I'm gonna be fucking bottom reasonable. A while ago, one of my teeth in the lower jaw was giving me some trouble. As in, it was decently painful, and the gums were swollen. This was not going to go well. <laughs> this was not going to go well, as I could tell. Oh, uh, if I ignored it for too long, yes, I ignored it. No, I'm not interested in the lecture. When it was decided by me, I just wasn't planning on resolving itself. I did something about it. <laughs> I had access to IV antibiotics. No, I'm not saying why I did, so don't bother asking. So I took those, and a good sized syringe, and injected the antibiotics through a decently large bore needle into the root pocket through the bone. No numbing. It was a pleasant, but it had to be done. It is what it is. For those of you asking, thinking, why didn't you go to a dentist? Because I have had more than one encounter with dentists where they have told me I needed extensive work done that I absolutely did not. I freaking, this guy is a genius! He knows exactly what kind of work that he needs done in his mouth, and these people are trying to freaking incept into his brain what he needs done. He is a psychopath. He is a genius. Now let's see what he does. One of which told me I had 18 cavities. I did not have one and needed a root canal. Want to know wh how he proved that to me? He took a metal rod, cooled it down on one end, and placed it along the row of my teeth. When he got to the one that he claimed needed a root canal, I could feel the cold. And that was his argument. Except he didn't know that I had been a magician's assistant for years. And a sight of hand is something I am excellent at spotting for professionals. And he was less than an amateur. He thought he was sly when he flipped the rod around the side that hadn't been cooled. But he was not. Not even a little. And I called him on his BS. He made some excuses about not needing to lick it today in my gut. And I never saw that fraud. Again. When dentists have demonstrated to me that they would rather do unnecessary work than be respectable, they are not getting my money. So surgery on myself, and yes, it worked like a charm. What should have been a guaranteed root canal was nothing. It is years later, I still have the tooth and as healthy as can be. It had to be done, so it was done. And I think that pretty much answers the question. If a psychopath had to perform surgery on her slash himself without anesthetic, what would be going through their mind? I mean, I, 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 I think, the, I think, I, I think this answers it for itself. Don't you guys agree? Don't you guys agree? Don't you agree? Don't you agree? This pretty much answers everything about the freaking question. Uh, dude, uh, do you not ever ask? Do you not ever stay up at night asking yourself what would happen if a psychopath needed to perform surgery on themselves? Well, I think this answers it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. You need that kick part. I love one more.